Did you know that Bet365 boss Denise Coates owns this $90 million mega mansion that sits in Cheshire? Or that Mike Ashley's $4.8 billion net worth allowed him to spend $52 million on this Dassault Falcon 7X? Or did you know that London is actually the billionaire capital of the world with more wealth per square mile than any other city? The United Kingdom is home to over 177 billionaires with a combined net worth of 653 billion pounds. Today we're starting a new series on the channel, The Billionaire Lifestyles of Billionaires That Come Per Country. So today we're looking at 10 expensive things owned by the billionaires of the UK. Don't forget to smash a like on the video and hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. Number 10, Mayfair Mega Mansion, John Caldwell. Considered to be Britain's most expensive home in Mayfair, this impressive home is thought to have cost phones for you founder John Caldwell £250 million. Having around 15 bedrooms, a mirrored dance floor, basement nightclub, five kitchens and a 120 capacity ballroom, the home covers 43,000 square feet. The home features a £500,000 car stacking device that can take eight cars from street level to storage at the press of a button. Inside you will find an indoor pool with a volcanic lava installation, marble staircase and artwork over £300,000. Combined from Anchester House and its property next door, the home cost over £65 million to renovate and is one of the world's most expensive postcodes. Caldwell made his billions after selling Single Point to Vodafone for £405 million and later sold his wider business three years later for £1.46 billion. Number 9. Yacht Hampshire Andrew Curry Launched at the Fed Shipyard on Carg Island and named originally as Vanish, London-based designer Harrison Isgard designed both the interior and exterior of Hampshire. Built out of steel, the superstructure is made out of aluminium with teak laid decks and is registered in the Cayman Islands. Powered by twin 1850 MTU M53 engines, she has a top speed of 18.5 knots and a range of 5,200 nautical miles. The yacht features six guest cabins that can accommodate 12 guests and she has room for 17 crew. She was one of 826 yachts that were sold in 2018 and was most recently on display at Monaco Yacht Show and Fort Lauderdale International Boat Shows. She is the 43rd largest yacht built by Fedship and is currently listed as the 338th largest yacht in the world with a length of 66.25 meters. The yacht is said to be worth around $100 million. Number 8. Doddington Park James Dyson. While living in the countryside can be fun, billionaire UK Hoover mogul James Dyson has taken his country living to a whole new level. Big enough to fit 18,000 normal homes inside it, he owns this 300 acre Georgian estate in Doddington Park. Purchased in 2003 for £15 million, the estate features its own church, walled kitchen garden, lakes, lodges, woodland, and an orangery. The massive art gallery, which has recently been under construction, has seen an old cottage on the estate be demolished. It's understood that artwork by Pablo Picasso, Roy Lichtenstein, Andy Warhol and Peter Blake will be kept at the gallery, which will be open to the public. One of the more controversial features of the home is an underground marble lined swimming pool that was actually built without permission. Number 7. Jim Ratcliffe Grenadier 4x4. When you are a fan of a car that goes off the manufacturing line, there is only one thing to do, design and build your own. That is exactly what British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe decided to do and came up with the concept of the Grenadier utility wagon. The five seat passenger version of this brand new car begins from £52,000 and is set to be a replacement for the now shelved Land Rover Defender series. With a towing capacity of 3,500 kilograms and a winch load 
of 5,500 kilograms, the company will have two special edition versions of the Grenadier named after Bell Star fashion jackets. Featuring a BMW 3 litre 249 horsepower twin turbo straight six diesel engine, the car has a ZF 8 speed automatic transmission with manual override with a top speed of 99.42 miles per hour. Bridgestone 17 inch or 19 inch steel and alloy wheels are included, and both hydrogen fuel cell and electric battery prototypes are in development. Number 6. Glass Mansion Denise Coates They say gambling does not pay, yet for Bet365 boss Denise Coates, it does seem to have paid off, and paid off quite well, with her new $90 million mega mansion that sits in Cheshire Parkland. The massive gardens of the home feature an artificial lake, sunken tennis courts, stables, ornamental gardens, workers' cottages, and a boathouse. She is thought to have spent over 5.5 million buying up hundreds of acres of farmland, which surround the new futuristic home and were used to plant over 200 trees. Security around the home is tight, with a two meter security fence around the property and round the clock security patrolling the grounds. Designed by world renowned architectural designer firm Foster & Partners, the UK's fifth richest woman originally started working in bookmaking as a teenager. The home also has a carbon fibre cantilever roof and a 7,000 square metre artificial lake, while the walled garden is said to be almost as big as the home itself. Number 5. Joe Lewis Yacht Aviva Stretching more than 98 metres or 322 feet in length, the prestigious Yacht Aviva is the current floating home and office of British businessman Joe Lewis. Built by Lemwerder based German builder Abe King and Ramsen, she launched in 2017 and features an indoor full sized pedal tennis court. The 46th longest yacht in the world when she was delivered, spaces on board are magnificently expansive. The boat hit 20.3 knots in sea trials, but has an official cruising speed of 40 knots, with electric motors offering smooth manoeuvring and silent 11 knot running at night. She features a high tech bridge, strategically placed pantries, and concealed crew entrances, a low deck entrance for loading supplies, a dedicated crew galley, and and three dumb waiters. The family room is comfortable, bright and airy, while on the outside decks you will find sunken seating, swimming platforms and even a hidden cinema. The boat features two bistros for more intimate meals and a custom tender can launch from the cradle in the garage via special tracks. Number 4. Mike Ashley DeSalt Falcon 7X after his sale of Newcastle United Football Club, Mike Ashley now has considerably more time on his hands thanks to his extra £305 million. Already a billionaire in his own right with a net worth of $4.8 billion, he was easily able to afford the £52 million to buy the private jet like the 7X. With a range of 11,019 kilometers, the plane first launched at the 2001 Paris Air Show and has a top speed of 953 kilometers an hour. Featuring Pratt & Whitney Canada PW300 engines, the plane is the first fully fly-by-wire business jet that is noted for its extensive use of computer-aided design. Due to a special engine mount and cabin isolators, the cabin is extremely quiet and is even available with a shower, room for 19 passengers and 3 crew. Number 3. Tom Morris Yacht Mosquito Founder of retail chain Home Bargains, Tom Morris and his family are worth £4.36 billion, according to the Sunday Times Rich List back in May 2021. He owned the exclusive Yacht Mosquito that features spacious seating, outdoor dining area, VIP staterooms and a full beam sky lounge. The interior of the yacht is sophisticated with smoked oak chevron parquet flooring and travertine marble throughout. Powered by two MTU 8V 4000 M63 engines, she has a range of 4,500 nautical miles at 13 knots and a maximum speed at half load of 15.5 knots. She features a full beam owner's stateroom, two double guest suites and two twin guest suites which can accommodate 12 guests and additional rooms can house the 13 crew. 
Number two, Michael Platt, Yacht Arrow. Our final yacht on this list, Arrow, was built in 2020, making it one of Fedship's newest custom models. Owned by British billionaire and hedge fund manager Michael Platt, he purchased the yacht for around $120 million with a $10 million annual running cost. The yacht features a state-of-the-art movie theatre, steam room and sauna, luxury spa, beach club, a well-equipped gym with jacuzzi. Full Wi-Fi connectivity is covered but and the boat's 185,000 litre fuel tanks help propel her to a maximum top speed of 17 knots with a range of up to 5,500 nautical miles. If you are not interested on staying on board all the time, she has an incredible selection of water toys including jet skis, towable toys, water skis and even scuba diving equipment. Other arrow features include underwater lights, elevator, outdoor bar, hydraulic swim platforms, massage room and full air conditioning. This yacht can be hired out from May to September and costs roughly 850,000 euros for one week. Number one, Necker Island, Richard Branson. A feature of several lists in recent times, Necker Island is the famous home of British billionaire and business mogul Sir Richard Branson. Sitting in the turquoise waters surrounded by coral reefs, the island is fringed with beautiful white sandy beaches and was named after the 17th century Dutch squadron commander, Jonathan de Necker. Part of the Virgin Limited Edition portfolio of luxury properties, the island can accommodate up to 40 guests with six children when operating as a resort. Storm Irene struck the island in 2011, which Branson often uses as a home, with the great house burning down in a blaze believed to be caused by lightning. The home was rebuilt and now features in an expanded great room, 10 bedrooms, private pools, tennis courts, scenic views, a personal chef, a team of about 100 staff and a wide array of water sports equipment. The island has played host to a number of famous celebrities including Barack and Michelle Obama, Mariah Carey, Kate Winslet, Wendell Brown and even Princess Diana. Branson, who has a net worth of an estimated $4 billion, purchased the island in the late 1970s for around $180,000. Thanks for watching this video on 10 expensive things owned by UK billionaires. Please consider smashing the subscribe button if you enjoy our top list content, throw a like on the video for more content coming on a weekly basis, and comment below if you think I missed anything. We'll see you in the next. Videlo Production.